All right, guys, welcome back to Detroit Become Human. I'm the Card Sharp. Uh, last video was pretty intense with Marcus and Kara becoming deviants. In this part, we are continuing Connor's segment from part four. If you haven't seen part four, I recommend that you do watch that because this is a continuation of that segment. Here is the link to that video. Watch that to get a bit of context and then come watch this. In this video, we're going to interrogate the deviant whom we caught from the homicide case. Um, I'm really hoping you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, please, please do like and share this video. Also comment and subscribe. Uh, any and all support that you guys give is very much appreciated. You guys know this. No support is too small. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, let's get into it. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why don't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You we'll always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Exactly. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I can try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you laughing at? What do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. If you're gonna let an android negotiate, you might as well let it interrogate. Alright, we have to extract the confession. This reminds me of L.A. Noir. Look at the damage on his arms. Uh, let's analyze him first. Wait, what was it? Sorry. Signs of software instability, probability of self-destruction is low. Okay. Model HK400, housekeeper. Oh, damn. Repeated marking over 16 months caused by cigarettes. So Ortiz was... Torturing it. Guessing that's Ortiz's blood? HGB. That stands for hemoglobin. Guess that's where he got hit with the bat. Non critical damage level 2 caused by ba well, baseball bat. Alright, let's go ahead and interrogate. So he's not that stressed. It's only 35%. Reach optimal stress. Uh, let's introduce ourselves first. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? When you always introduce yourself to somebody, their stress level goes down or they trust you a little bit more because you're opening up to them. Um... Let's go with fear. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. So instability is fear in, for androids. Let's go with reassure. I'm not going to hurt you. I 
I just need to ask you some questions so we can understand what happened. Alright, he's not opening up to us. I don't want to sympathize yet. I don't know what probe memory is. But the word probe to me just doesn't sound nice. Um, I'm gonna go out on a limb. Let's threaten him a little bit. See if that'll open him up. I mean, I could go with trust. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. Okay. That made him just a little bit stressful. Well, we already threatened him. Let's see what probe memory means. Does that mean to just get into his head? If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. I got him talking. It also instilled fear into him. What? What are they going to do to me? They're going to take you apart, disassemble you. They're going to destroy me, aren't they? Yeah. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio. -control. Disassemble! You guys they ever see no that movie? If they want to understand what happened. Short Circuit from the 80s? Disassemble! Why did you tell them you found me? That's what I have. Why you just have left me there? That's my job. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I, I can't. Why? You can. Choose approach. Okay. No, we're not going to probe. Um, he's talking to us now, even though his fear just went up a little bit. Let's try to convince him. And... Uh, what the hell? It's just threatening. Talk, they're going to tear you apart and analyze you piece by piece. Yeah, that's good. They're going to destroy you. Do you understand? Um... Let's feel indifferent. Okay then, don't talk. So we got him scared what just a little bit after? enough. I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder. There you go, right? optimal. Um, warn him. If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Unless dead. you talk to me. He tortured me every day. There you go. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So you stood up and protected yourself. So I... Grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So you stabbed so him again. I stabbed him again. Exactly. And again. Until he collapsed. Let's ask him about the writing. Why did he write, I am alive? Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. So he wrote, I am alive, to show I him. To, write it. to tell him he was wrong. Mm -hmm. What's with the, the uh, statuette, the one that was in the bathroom? The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? 
What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. Be saved? So the writing was R-A-9, not R-A-G. I thought the 9 was a lowercase g. So what was up with the writing on the wall? R-A-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. That sounds like some Cyberdyne Terminator shit right there, guys. So what was up with the offering? The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA-9. Who's RA-9? Only RA-9 can save us. Okay, who's RA-9? RA-9. Who is RA-9? Um, what triggered you for When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger. Hatred. Why did you hide in the attic, instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. So you were scared? I was scared. That's why you hid in the attic. So I hid? Yeah. I'm done. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. His stress is going up. What the fuck are you doing? Move it. Okay. Calm now. Don't be difficult. You only make things harder. No. Please. Please leave oh, me. Ah shit, we gotta you intervene. Shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Exactly. Stay out of this. Got it. The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. I think I know what I'm doing. I got a confession out of him, didn't I? You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. No, you shut the fuck up. Chris, Somebody take this guy's junior I'm detective trying. badge away. I can't Stop. Let you do that. Leave, Leave alone him alone. Now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Gonna get away with it this time. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside. 